Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Princess of Aesthetically Princess. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Princess. Here on my channel, I do a multitude of things from art to journaling to whatever I come up on a Tuesday afternoon. It's currently a beautiful Monday here um, in Alabama, Georgia. It's actually not raining today and I'm actually off today. So two things that don't really line up usually, but here we, here we are. I'm here to actually do something that I haven't done in a while, which is try out a new art medium. So as we all know, I do acrylic painting and I do digital painting. Uh, well digital art so I paint with acrylic paint but I also do you know drawing on like an iPad I use procreate personally and what I haven't done in a while is I haven't tried a new art medium one of those art mediums I don't like is like watercolor but something that has always interested me uh, is gouache gouache is like a, it's similar to acrylic painting but because of the opacity but it works in the same way that watercolor does so you take water, you have like a piece of paint, you have some paint, add some water, and you gradient the same way that, you know, you paint with watercolor. So I did myself a favor and bought myself an art kit. So this is the art kit from Marjorie Cole. This is from a French artist named, oh my god, I will always get her in Sub Sublime. Yes, Sublime. Mianette. Sublime Mianette on Instagram, who I've been following for forever. I'm always going to say her name incorrectly, but she is a beautiful artist on Instagram that I've been following since I started Instagram in like 2017, started my art Instagram in 2017. I found her art and I absolutely love the way she draws and the way that she paints. And again, she uses gouache, so she collabed with Madri Co, who I like Madri Co. I have one of their sketchbooks that I just filled up, so this was excessively convenient because I did just fill up my old Madri Co sketchbook that I've had for over two years now. This is finally full now, so I need a new one. So I decided to do my favorite and buy myself a very nice kit. Okay, so I spent $199, almost exactly $200, on this kit. Um, this is from Malaysia. It shipped from Malaysia, and it took about two weeks to get to me because I do have a customized item So uh, in here, which I am so happy to show you. So, like I said, let's get into the video. I didn't do the transition, which is a problem, but so I bought this for $199. Um, in here, it's a full art kit as well as some other stuff, but we will open it and see. I've actually already opened it and looked at a few things, but I haven't opened it completely. So, first things first, this is how like the actual thing looks. It has like a few of her drawings on the back, a little synopsis of the character who is French, by the way, and then a piece of her art on the front. Um, you can go on their website. It just so happened that this was kind of on sale. Again, I do like Masary Co. They are a Malaysian uh, handmade business. So Asian owned, Asian operated. Yeah. So that's just the cover piece. So I will probably be throwing this friend away. This is the box that it comes in. It's very heavy. There's a lot of items in here. So in this kit, that you can get on the website and this is not the only one that they have they have different watercolor ones from different artists if i like the way that this kit worked then i will buy myself a watercolor one because like i said i hate watercolor but i do want to try it so first thing you see is a cloth bag and this little beautiful note from sipline so i love the back i'm going to be keeping all of the the these little cards because this is so pretty i actually have another masary co item that i got when i got that sketchbook but First things first is I see this a beautiful card with her art and a little handwritten note. She has very beautiful, very cute handwriting and a little cloth bag. So pick up the cloth bag, go set aside, that'll be last. Then we have this, which I think I know what this is. This, which is the practice book that I will be using to practice gouache in. And then a little packet. So for $199, one of the first things you get is this little packet. This is going to contain two art prints, four note cards, and two sticker sheets. So open up, it's got a little smiley sticker on it. I'm gonna pull everything out. Did I get everything? I got everything, okay. So these are the two prints that I got. This one and this one. These are both pieces that are on her uh, Instagram. This one is my favorite. Um, this, like, literally, this is one of my favorites. She does a lot of, um, what's it called? Armor, women in armor, which I love women in armor. But this, these two are going to stay with me. I'm probably going to eventually hang them. 
put them in frames and like you know, put them frames on my wall and stuff but these are so pretty this one is my favorite then it comes with two sticker sheets this one and this one this one is my favorite because this one's I just love her I just love the witch on it and looks that arrow the snake the witchy items I'm probably going to decorate my sketchbook and the outside of my iPad like I usually do with these stickers I love a sticker sheet I love a sticker sheet then as we all know it comes with four note cards so these are like I can ship these out so I can like write on the back of them and then give them to people I'm not doing that so here's the first one they also come with envelopes to ship them out again I'm not I'm not doing that here is the second one the third one and the fourth one I believe this one is my favorite though yeah this one is my favorite out of the four that I have that was my favorite again these would make great little a, little, a nice cute gallery wall so pretty okay next I'm going to set this here is my little practice book so this is the my bad practice book so this is the sublime practice book it also comes with a little practice guidebook to guide you through how you're supposed to paint and it's kind of like a coloring book almost it's beautiful light pieces and then it teaches you and then it has scenes and characters that she's drawn some beautiful scenery so you can work on scenery this would be great for me to work on some scenery because I am not a scenery kind of bitch and then of course the book that teaches you about the brushes and the tools that you have and how you're supposed to do certain things. We're just going to make the attempt at, attempt at practicing a little bit. I'm not going to draw anything, but I will draw next month depending on how well I do. So I'm going to try one of the simple things in the book. I, wish, I think for me right now, because of what I do personally, I'm going to try the page that requires me to do people. So portraits this one this is where I will be so there's that we'll keep that open and in here I know exactly what this is this is my new sketchbook like I said I just filled up my old sketchbook and it's time for an effing new one so on the outside it has this little little note piece you can actually write on the back of it it's a little note card and it's so pretty and it has like a 15% off code at the bottom for when I do buy from them again I need to keep that and then we can open this little box. Can we? Is the real question. I think I can. Hold on. Oop. So the outside of our old one has the words blue on it, which is my artist name, PB. But this one has my little star constellation, which I love this outside with the star constellation because the winter time, the black girl. I'm a Sagittarius, I was born in December, yeah, yeah, snowy wintry type bitch shit. But this is my new sketchbook which I'm so happy that I've been needing a new one for forever. It's in this beautiful blue, it's got the little uh, hairs and the brush on the front and it's a scene all the way around. So from the front to the back cover it is a scene uh, and you can see the actual full piece on her um, Instagram and this is not the only one I think there's one for spring summer and spring summer fall and winter and I got the winter version winter hairs I think this is called finally is the cloth bag this is going to contain all of the fun art stuff and it comes with its own this bag sexy sensual and my pants this is a acrylic porcelain palette oh I have several plastic palettes which I love my plastic palettes this one is a is, is this is heavy which I've been wanting a porcelain palette for a while specifically because I follow her and she has several porcelain palettes and hers uh, a lot of hers are ceramics that were made beautifully like she has a bespeckled one and I tried to follow, find the girl who had the bespeckled ones but when I went to look she was out but it is this one two three six seven little pot palette and I love it it's in the shape of a flower it's called the flower palette and they may sell this individually on Mosri Co because it's got the little Mosri Co print in the back this is so beautiful it's so heavy this is like a nice ex this accessory at this point beautiful and then I believe this is my brushes so 
they come in this little paper bag with the sticker on it. Okay, so first things first is, oh, a new fucking pen. Wait, no, what's this? This is a mechanical pencil, I think. It's in Japanese, I, I, I don't know what this is. But I believe this is a mechanical pencil for me to draw with. That's so nice. It's like a heavy duty pencil too. That's like a, it's like metallic and shit. Okay, and then we have, ooh, new brushes. Very nicely made brushes from the brand Velvet Touch. There's three, three, three brushes. There are three brushes. Uh, a little tiny tip one, a bigger tip, and then like a full, like, like you know, flat brush tip. These are nice. Okay. Oh, and the handles do feel really, really fucking nice, by the way. Then I have this, which is masking tape for painting outside the lines, which this is going to be nice, especially for my sketchbook. I have washi tape is what I currently use. But this masking tape is better, probably better for my notebook. And then an eraser. Very nice, very nice. And finally, a container of 0.5 um, lead, because specifically for this pen. Very nice. Then we have one more. So we have brushes and paint. Okay. Woof. So we have these ones. I have this beautiful blue. This gorgeous light pink. Shell pink. Light blue. White, of course. Ultra marine deep. This very interesting deep yellow. This very pretty light apricot for skin tones. A black. This beautiful tealish blue green. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, a burnt sienna. We love a burnt sienna in this house. And a vermilion. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten paints in total, as well as three brushes, a pencil, lead, masking tape, a eraser, a ceramic nicely made palette, a sketchbook, a color, a kind of coloring book, stickers, print, and um, note cards, and a little workbook. All for $199. I personally believe this is a steal. This to me is a steal. These are very nice items. This, all of these are very well made. And I think these are similar or are some of the things that she actually used. I, this is the exact brand of gouache that she used. uses. This is, oh my god, what is this brand? Holbian? Holbian? I think I have been trying to get my, yep, yeah, Holbian works. Made in Japan. I think I've been trying, I literally have been trying to get my hands on some, this specific brand gouche because I I see that she used it and not just her but a few of the other artists I follow use it. But I have not been able to just find like a good set at a good price. But with all this shit out of there, it's an even better price. So, first things first. I kind of want to, I, like I said, I want to do a few sketch, a few of the um, painting attempts on camera. So, like I said, we are going to try the bust portraits and half portraits. This is what we're going to try. <laughs> we probably shouldn't go ahead and go this far in, but that's what we're going to do. So, it has a page about the tools and trying out the brushes, which I think might be in the book. But my main focus is going to be trying to, you know, the main focus so far is they want you to kind of just go through and add different shades. We're actually going to just work through this first part of this workbook together. We're just going to attempt gash for the first time. 
I'm going to practice and maybe we'll do like a full piece next month. I wish I could focus on this, but it seems that I have a lot to do. So, do you guys want to work through it with me? I work together. This will be a family project. So, kind of scared actually. Something I never did before, but you know, we'll get through it together. I'm gonna go through and read and add certain things. Oh goodness. This is going to be a long, long set. But let's do it. So like there is like a full page on what I'm supposed to do. That gives like, you know. Let's go. Okay, it's the next day. I've spent like a day doing some like some practicing and things like that in the book. I went to work. I chilled yesterday, and today we're finally going to, you know, get into actually painting. I spent most of my day kind of like looking at videos and stuff like that, and thinking I can get like a like a hold on the things. So today we're actually going down and we're going to actually paint the leaves. Let's go. Okay, so let's get into it. First of all, I obviously had already painted this. So I sat there for a minute, painted this, and hated every way that it looked. I absolutely despised how it looked. I literally went through the entire process of the highlights. So I lined it and it fucking sucked. So I ended up going back over it, which is now one of my favorite things about acrylic gouache is that it's so thin because you can add water to it, but what's underneath doesn't move, which is one of my favorite things about acrylic, like acrylic paint in general is that I can go in and fix things. I can start over. I have a tendency to just hate paintings and be like, you know, forget this. I'm just going to completely just repaint over it. I actually have a series on my TikTok where I just completely repaint over a bunch of old paintings that I didn't like. So... I like being able to, like the fact that I was able to just go back in and grow back over it. And yes, I know a lot of these paintings are going to be really messy around the edges. I don't have the steadiest of hands as someone with really bad arthritis and someone who's had a really bad hand week. Yeah, yeah, I promise you I, I'm not staying in any kind of lines. I don't, that, that, no. Impossible. Impossible. You ask for too much. But I decided to just try and make the attempt at getting close to what she did in her in her pic in the pictures. I will uh, bring this back up at the end of the video about the fact that I am not a fan of the fact that this entire process does not come with some form of video. Like no 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 CD, no YouTube video link, no actual video link. I feel like. This should come with a link to a video to teach you, hey, here's someone actually walking you through the process of acrylic gouache instead of you having to, you know, use this random notebook, this random guidebook. But I, I still appreciate the guidebook. I appreciate the workbook, but they are not very helpful, especially when it comes to te her teaching you how to use highlights and things like that the way she does because she just kind of shows you a, a picture of they just kind of show you a picture of what this artist's work look like and what yours might look like with little explanation as to why they do this or how, why this is their art style but I still tried I made the attempt eventually I ended up giving up on trying to do her particular art style because none of the stuff that she does for her art style is anything that I do for mine haha -ha. I'm more of a person that adds like very little highlights, if any highlights at all, to anything. 
which I'm not opposed to. I like a good, like, you know, color gradient and, but having a brush to, you know, do my dark light, do my shadows and uh, highlights is usually not my thing I try to use, like my acrylic markers, my acrylic paint markers for stuff like that, but you know, that's just me. Like I said, I'm going to make the attempt to not only do some painting and, you know, work through this notebook until maybe next month when I can finally, you know, sit down and I can draw for myself <laughs> and just do my own sketch and then work through my own sketch. But I'm going to practice. But her art style is not it for me. So I'm kind of excited to get into the other pages of the notebook. I did leaves this time only because I'm not really, I don't really draw leaves like that. Mostly because to stick with the aesthetic that I currently have. I recently drew leaves on one of the paintings that I had, so I was like, oh, it'll be nice to get back into the aesthetic of leaves. So let's paint these random leaves. So, or foliage, as she says on the actual page. Foliage, let's paint the foliage. But you know, I enjoyed trying to paint this monstera leaf, and it didn't really work for me. So, thankfully, there's a second one on the page, which we will paint to, through my style together. Let's go. As you can see this is kind of what I did for this first one now we are actually going to do this one because first of all this is my favorite one and also I tried this similar to her style I don't get her style so we're gonna do this my way okay so it's now time for me to make the attempt at my own little monstera plant this is just that same monstera plant just flipped so that you can try again really I did this my way because I decided I was going to pick where the lighting was. It was on the right side of the page. And I was just going to make all the things that are on this side of the page lighter and the other side darker. I was also working on the one underneath. But I didn't realize that I had pulled my notebook out of frame of the camera. Uh, so I couldn't get that one. But I loved working on that one. It was super easy for me. And I just loved the way it looked. And it, at the end of like, you know, painting it. But I'll show it to you at the end of the video. But I just went through and I painted this cute little monster plant. It was easy for me, thankfully. Again, this time, this time I liked it. This time I just ran through it and it was fun. I don't hate it, but I, I, I actually do like it. I like the way that it came out. It was way, like I said, way easier working the way I work with paint than having to go through using her stuff I still kind of pulled from her just lightly like with the, the highlights maybe but other than that worked through it perfectly fine for myself and it looked great period enjoy
Okay, so next I worked on this little top one with the little, um, little new growth pieces at the top. I tried also working on this small one. I was putting it off the entire time that I was trying to do this page. I was trying to put that one off for last and I still ended up hating it by the end of it. Tried again and still ended up hating it. I actually tried to paint it off camera. It sucked. I, it, it, I, there was no fixing it. There was no helping it. I made attempts. It sucked. But as for this one, I love the way this one looks because it has like the, like the detailing. It doesn't look as good as hers. Of course, it would never look as good as hers. She has like her thing, her like style and the way she works down packed. And this is like my first time. But I do like the way that it did come out. I like the page. Again, this one is one of my favorites. Again, because of the different colors that I was able to add to it. Like I said made the attempt at pulling from her style and I kind of used her as like the reference because we love reference for a painting but at the same time this one is one of my favorites it just looks good I was able to just kind of sit there and play with it again we don't stay in the lines I don't have the hand ability to stay in the lines currently so we'll try next time but I love it it was so cute enjoy the rest of this I'll see you guys in the video Okay, it's been a while. I showed you guys how I did this one, this one, this one. I tried this one, but I hate this one. I just, I just, I don't, I hate this. So this is, does not exist. This does not exist. But my two favorites are this one and this one. I like the way this one came out. I hate both of these. These both suck. This, on the other hand, beautiful. This worked perfectly. So things that I do have to say about Gauche is, oh my God, it is a lot. Working with it is a lot. Trying to make an attempt with it is a lot. The only thing that I don't like about it is li literally the wetness of it because acrylic paint is way more stiff but this is acrylic gouache so similar thing but I can still add water to it which I do appreciate because I use way less paint if I can just add water to it. I still opened up the tube and used the tube a lot but this was easy. Again this one is my favorite. It is literally so pretty. All of these are pretty except for these two. These two do, do not exist. That is my favorite. But literally, it took a minute. It took a second and it was a lot. But I can say that I do now like Gouch. Um, as for this actual uh, this set, the Gouch kind of like kit from Mazari Co., I like it. But at the same time, I wish it had like more information, like a video like that walks you through the actual 
use of it because this doesn't come with a video marjorie co doesn't have like a video for you to like you know look up and sit there and like watch the video and have someone like talk you through painting it it just comes with the notebook and the workbook um so that's kind of annoying like i said i would rather someone have been talking to me and walking me through it but at least walking you through like the first part but this is kind of just the, the, sorry just the notebook like your only friend is the notebook you don't really have like a a website to go to that'll teach you like a, that's got like a video to it or anything like that like literally I would have rather there had been a video to walk you through it a little bit more than just vague words of like what to do because <laughs> I like the book but it's not as helpful as like an actual in-depth video into oh here's how you work gouache here's how you use it here's how you go through it because I myself have never worked with gouache but I was able to use my knowledge of acrylic paint to actually work through it so I do like this I'm going to try and use this more often and then maybe I'll walk into watercolor would I buy another set it's a questionable because I do like the amount of stuff that I get I get a little coloring workbook I get you know a little guidebook um, I get a whole new sketchbook and new paints that I didn't have before so and new brushes so I don't I'm not knocking the stuff that you get in the kit but I don't like the way it's completely set up but I do recommend it for anyone who already has prior information about either a watercolor or b acrylic paint and wants to kind of like bridge their way into either I think this would be a good way to bridge yourself into going from acrylic paint to watercolor or vice versa because there's like a mix between the two uh but i would not go into this if you have no prior like information on painting in general because this first part of this workbook is supposed to be the first like few pages of this workbook are easy things to note easy thoughts to have about you know how to work paint and how to mix paint and how to get certain colors which i already have that information from doing acrylic paint but other than that it's a great workbook i'm going to continue to use this notebook to continue working through again this is my favorite hopefully by that time i'm probably going to go through and work on things that i would like to you know be able to use for a piece that i want to do next month so maybe next month we'll do a paint with us on update on how i'm working with gouache i'll show you guys the notebook after i've gone through and i've done some more pages but this is kind of my new thing now is to work through with gouache this was nice though this is a nice notebook nice information much appreciated and I, if i were to give it like a full rating i would give it a seven for like the way it works i haven't had any other like work through practice things like this before but this was fun i enjoyed it gonna have to make some decisions of whether i would do it again but I did enjoy it. I had fun. If you guys want to get your own gouache set, and if I convinced you enough to buy one, I will leave it linked down below as well as her series 2 one because this is the first series and then she has a second series. Um, and I will leave Ma's Rico website down below as well so you can get yourself a nice a sketchy book because based on what I tell you, these sketchbooks are top tier. They're top tier. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed me or enjoyed being around me my all of my social media will be linked down below if this video was not your feel or this video was not your type i have a whole other thing of videos up on my channel just click um onto my profile and just scroll through i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you guys next time bye